FNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento, mid-afternoon update for TFNN. And, folks, it's a green day today. It must be coming from someplace in South America because, boy, we've had a tremendous upbringing here in red colors have gone bye-bye and green colors have come to say hello. The only three things that are down today, folks, is we have copper and platinum are down just a little bit. And then we also have uh, the Australian dollar is also down a little bit other than that it's green everywhere i mean it's uh you know big moves in all the markets dow up over 200 points s p up 15 nasdaq up 30 or 40 russell up uh, 20 or so so it's a very very bullish day uh to say the least even the treasury bonds and treasury notes are having a little bit of a rally uh very minor but uh, they're still having a little bit uh, of a rally even crude oil has made new highs I've always said when we get stopped out of these trades like we did yesterday, got to learn to reverse because it had a dollar a barrel in it if you'd have reversed. And, of course, I'm not too much – that's the understatement. I'm not too much of a, of a reversal trader, which is the uh, – without doubt the understatement of the century. I just don't do that. I should start doing it because every time I watch these things, it's a green marker because they just keep going and going. Because when these patterns fail, folks, they're going to the next level. Pattern failures can be a you know a really big indication of where we're going with uh, some of these things. But by far, the Dow Jones has been the leader of the pack today. It started out strong and continued to pull everything up with it. Uh, the Nasdaq has actually been the laggard, followed by the S&P. Second place, of course, is the Russell. It's been strong uh, from the very get-go. And I got news from Mr. Twentyman today over there in California. The reason for that is people are moving out of high-tech stuff and into value stocks like the Russell and some of the other Dow stocks that have been beaten down quite a bit. 3M being one, it's up quite a bit today on an upgrade, and you know, that stock has been down for a very, very long time. So we're having some good moves here, which is what we like to see. And our guest today is Jim Bartoleone. And folks, be really nice to him today because it's Jimmy Bart's birthday. July the 11th, 7-11. Roll the dice for Jim Bartoleone of Bart's Charts will be our guest. Tomorrow, we're going to have Paula Webb. Uh, Thursday, we're going to have, I have it written down here, uh, Jeff Huge. And then on Friday, we're going to have Norm Winsky. We'll be right back, folks. <laughs> 